crude oil has started week the week with a slight drop towards 77.6 can we expect this as a reversal can we expect this drop to continue here in crude oil or it is just a retracement before it gives a breakout towards 80 dollar levels what is going to be our strategy trading crude oil today we will see with the help of charts and indicators if you're new to the channel subscribe and press the bell icon to get the twice a day updates next update will be released before the u.s session do like share and comment as well friends your every like, comment, and share is a great motivation for me to deliver to the best of my abilities. Also, do join the channel memberships if you have not joined yet. Let's start first to look into hourly charts and towards the end, I will give you the trading strategy for the day. Watch till the end. Let's start with the daily charts. The first important thing is here the oil has breached the highs. It was forming lower lows and it has recovered and breached the highs. Certainly sign of bullishness. Now what it is trying to do, it is trying to stay bullish or trying to squeeze a bit. Where are the support levels? See, first support levels to be seen at around 77.4, 77.5. This is going to be the critical support it needs to break. And only and only if it stays below this, you can expect that the next target is going to be at around 76.8. And yes, the bearishness is confirmed if it drops below 76.8 levels, then and then. And in fact, this bearishness is also only for today. It is not that it is going to set a trend. Now, yes, it is looking downwards. You have seen series of red candles. What it has done is it has come towards 20 period moving average. It is trying to take a support here. And from these levels, again, a rise can be expected. Thus, if you see it is staying above 78.2, we can initiate a buying entry again. The stock stick has dropped. MACD crossing over here for sell, trading with divergence, trading bearish, looking downwards. Now, yes, it has scope on the upside as well. See the drop, it is trading sideways. And yes, the breakout is what I will wait for. RSI has also dropped coming to two hour charts similar observation here is on the two hour charts rise retracement rise higher highs and retracing towards the 20 period moving average for the day the zone between 76.8 77.5 is going to be a critical support zone as long as oil stays above this zone possibly we should expect a recovery a stock stick looking downwards MACD is trying to converge crossover for sale RSI is almost flat here coming to three hour charts and similar observation is seen on the three hour charts increasing body size here there could be a third bearish candle which can take the prices further down and yes same observation same levels here as well a stock stick here is also looking down vertically MACD is trying to converge crossover for sell RSI is staying flat coming to four hour chart now look at four hour charts here bullishness retracement then see these two candles and these two candles the certainly size has diminished here Thus, the bullishness appears to have diminished. Also, the prices are trading with little divergence. Thus, it could converge. And yes, same levels to be seen. That is between 77.5, 76.8. Do not treat oil as bearish. It is, it is possible for it to achieve those levels. Right now, it is at 77.9. And from here, yes, I can see a possibility for it to fall in this zone. So, yes, you can take an advantage here as well. The stock stick looking downwards. MACD is trying to stay in green. It is not yet converged crossover. RSI is flat. Coming to daily. And before we look into daily charts, if you want to learn this art of trading, you can be a part of my 29th mentorship batch commencing on 4th of March. Register yourself now. Equip yourself with the tools and strategies which can help you identify profitable trades and help you trade profitably. Yes, you can trade anything with the help of the tools and strategies, be it crypto, be it indices, be it commodities, be it currency. Yes, you can trade anything and everything with the help of the trade setups and the tools. Do reach out to me for your queries related to the mentorship batch. Also, you can join my signals channel on Telegram. For any of your queries, you can write an email or ping me on Telegram. All the contact details are shared here in the channel and video description. If you're not joined the free Telegram channel, join it to get the live updates of the market. And yes, do visit the platform forexwanda.com where you get the markets related updates all the information is available there there is also a community step where you can discuss with the like-minded traders and if you need any consultation or guidance you can book a call there with me do read the platform now look at the daily on the daily charts look at the preceding two candles yes the bullishness has got diminished but also one must notice that the preceding candle comes with a tail which means price has got lifted from the lower levels and see only thing is, only worry point is the resistance it is getting on the upside. Does any point of time price is staying beyond 78.6? One can stay bullish, one can look forward to 79, 79.1 levels and beyond this I will be looking forward to 79.8, 80 dollar levels. At least double top or higher highs can be expected here. Yes, two bullish candle, we can expect a third bullish candle here. 
But before that, what it is trying to do, see, it has started with a flat note. What it can do at best is it can try to create a bigger tail. And the, a tail means it can, in fact, move towards 77.3 or 77.2 levels. And from there, a recovery cannot be denied here. Yes, it can recover completely from those levels. Moving averages, crossing over here, trading with divergence, signs of bullishness. And thus, it should not be treated as bearish as long as 75 levels are not taken on the downside for the day. Stochastic rising, MACD is divergent, bullish, looking upwards, RSI almost flat. Considering this, I will recommend you to buy oil today at 78.6, where you can expect it to move towards 79.1 as the first targets, 79.8, 80 as the next. And any move beyond 80, sky is the limit. We are looking forward to 81.4, 82.8 levels in this week itself on the downside right now you can initiate a selling entry but uh there are, you need to exercise a little bit of caution because 77.3 is going to be the first resistance zone uh 77.3 77.6 is the first resistance zone here and it and it is also an achievable level so you can initiate a selling entry here at 77.6 levels and below which you can expect 77.3 77 and 76.8 very very nearby support levels but cannot Ignore it and below 76.8 is where the bears will try to take the prices further down and it can try to move towards 76 and 75 zone. Chances for which appears to be less but these are markets you need to stay with the levels. Take your trades accordingly. Watch the next update before the US session. Thus like, share, subscribe and comment and do join the channel membership. Do join the mentorship batch and the signals channel. Reach out to me for any of your queries. See you again before the US session. Thank you.